that thing, honestly, secret. They, they have a lineup now that's Phoenix not really cooldown reliant. Like, they don't need to wait for anything except for pretty much just the IO hitting Shrek. six. Now, the MVP win the game by that, but, but can definitely still work. I think Alliance had quite a bit of success with it in Captain's Draft. Granted, there's different, but they don't have yeah, to running every mid. Well, we, keep, we start off the same way we started a game to one. A bottom rune fight going on. Maybe get a lot of early information and keep throwing these stuns down. The sun strike though gonna hit pretty nicely into MC Puppy. He's already pretty low, but the first one's got a slot track that will drop us. Puppy to follow directly after. Misery's got charge in two seconds time, and this will allow him to catch up to Zubu. Even with the fairy fire, this will not be able to save the vengeful spirit unless he can get a perfect block stun. Not gonna happen. Pilot Eye's last attack will kick in. So this time it's Team Secret. Actually favorite MVP. It's pretty close regardless, uh, which is obviously way better for Secret than what happened in the last game. So better start. You made a... Uh, all right, never mind. They are not off to a better start. They oh my are not... God. Yeah, he, he carried in. Okay. But then it's not too bad. The bottle is on that. Is that is game-losing stuff. You lose three minutes of momentum in mid lane. Oh, Bevy? He just he walks straight up beneath the tower. All the venom takes the aggro from the tower for Rev. The damage is actually going to be enough. The Sunstrike kicking in for Weeha. He looks for the revenge. That's not for Febby. For Rev is going to TP himself out of here. The Spirit Breaker charge is a little bit too far away. I think Febby realizes he is definitely dead. Puppy will take the solo kill on that one. But again, Weeha starting off the game with a double away. How cocky can Febby is trying to deny himself at the moment. He already knew they had a sentry because he was getting hit after the charge. And he's still choosing one thing. With the offlaners in this current meta anyway, but like you're always trying to keep your attention to the offlane so the ports can't attack into the mid, but MVP that is attacking everywhere, just like oh, bottom misery. lane. He's in, but a sudden hit, the Sprout holds them in, and there goes Misery. And there goes the tower. This is a safe lane with Rack, Diabolic Edict. Inputs now the third point up into Diabolic Edict. There is no way to stop this. I like this choice so much simply because Secret are not fighting ready. They're, they, they can't do Again? anything. Worth in seven minutes. Yeah, the experience isn't as great, but they're getting so much money onto a team which is getting Bounty Hunter and Misery dead once again. MP actually delaying his, his stun. He started up the animation and realized that wasn't going to be the greatest thing. He wants to not fall. Yeah, exactly. And he also doesn't know where the sentry ward is. It's difficult for Secret. Oh, he's walking Oh, he's almost going to kill MP! One troll killing him off and then tethering onto the cliff getting stuck. They lose their power and almost the tier 2, yeah. They, they got to stop it. No, he gets pumped back by the charge. The Sun Strike on target for Forever, but only moves half the line, so VS goes down. And with the lands from QR, we slow down Paradai enough. They haven't got the vision over on uh, over on that uh, Forever. They just prop with the Sun. MP, look at the pulse. No, it's going to work. MP, Good they pass. throw him away. There's no lining to slow him down. And Misery is charging his way forward. Going on the Uber. Puppy is here as well, but Misery, the Telegrape will let him keep fighting for Rev. He's going for the big hit. He's going after Eternal Envy while Misery, the Telegrape finally wears down. Pilot Knight actually gets stunned up as well. His two heroes down for Secret. We have to follow it. So is Eternal Envy. Team Secret, they're staring down the barrel of a team wipe at the moment as We have will go underneath the tier 2 tower just to die. Puppy, the only one to survive. Something wrong today with MVP. Yeah, do they have like, does their team get like double gold or something? Oh, bottom. Oh, yeah. They're not closing. They're not closing. Yeah. Going for Red, tossed up into one the air, so that at least they get some kind of kill here. And Puppy is now got to keep that oh, in mind coming into this fight. So they've got the mech over on him. They've still got the VS swap. Misery charging himself for actually swaps the track now, which puts Zubu in a real world of hurt. Febby actually refuses to use the mech in this situation to save his VS. There's a lot of tracks up already in Team Secret. They're going to relocate out for track stun. Instantly onto Weeha. They do not see Bevy, however. The Observers and Sentry down for MVP. They trigger off the dust. That did actually hit the bounty hunter. Pulling him down. So will the Ice Wall. He throws the Shuriken Toss down. The relocate drag him out. And another stun from MP. Turning on the Pulse Nova. Eternal Envy. They have to kind of run away from this one. Pine will come back into the fight. But Misery, he's just melting. MP is so low on life. They do not want to lose him. And they're going to anyway. Dazzle gets 780. Oh, 14 minutes in, Bevy will actually go down as well. Puppy with double kill claiming a thousand gold for these two kills. And now QO, he comes to join the fight and he'll look to take away the streak of Puppy. Um, the Prophet's also going to TP in too, who still secures in the top of the riverside. Damn, that attack. But the tower's still at 96 HP. 
And the catapult is slowly actually winning this push for MVP. MVP has the nine up the tower. And do they keep on going? There's no fortification of pickup that Secret have had so far this game. I think the blink dagger and tiny is really what you get the they're gonna use right far. And he comes, MVP comes to the top. You are actually dodging with the doppelganger of the charge, but he gets bounced back out. And we have gonna finish the job. Now it's Rubu, a pass to Captain Blast, catching out two MVP players. Baby, he starts up as well as a double kill for Weeha. And Team Secret, they are punishing MVP, and MVP just keeps going forward with the Avalanche toss, Misery, okay, MP just wheels back in mid-air, all heroes down for MVP, just TP in. He doesn't actually have his Wrath of Nature, actually does in one second time, so that just came off cooldown, Ooh, and they MVP. find Eternal MP, they walk, he walks into it, so the oh, three God, it's it's three. and Eternal MP is gonna go down. 45 seconds, no buyback. If they notice that, they might be the courier, you know who's there, <laughs> so, gotta get it somehow. Now you get a second life on the blood trust. MP didn't have the greatest start after he picked up the bloodstone, as he's now one, and they're doing really well, and he is farmed he, with the boost of travel. Does he see Envy? Yeah, uh, when they put the Observer Ward down, they can see Eternal Envy. Uh -oh. The Rack of Nature hits him, so he couldn't actually use his Blink Dagger straight away. The Orc will connect as well. Okay. And Puppy, can they actually get Norm? Relocate wasn't triggered, and Puppy couldn't get in range of the now from Secret, and that was used before Diabolic Edict was triggered. So now MT is just gonna melt through the range racks, and yes, Secret, they're letting it go. Eight seconds until MT's back up. Misery charging himself forward. So she got also two minutes left on that Aegis the Mortal, but the top rack is gone. MVP can just bail out of here and have no casualties, and really, is MP gonna... Oh, speaking of that, simultaneous pickup. Oh. So you're playing one Rex down minute 23 against an Axe Prophet and a Bounty Hunter, uh, and a Lish rack that can just push in the wave all the time. Pretty hard, I to say. Some damage there on MP. And he also dropped from a little bit of space. BTs are coming in on the on the tree and popping. Well, kind of felt like he was baited to come out to try and battle that one. Cure comes in also with the fuser play charge is now available. And Poppy bought back instantly. He's happy to attack the fight with money. Misery gonna charge himself forward and keep to the opening. And Misery is under control for the moment too. Eternal enemy man, a shuriken toss bouncing around everywhere. And Paladine's relocate doesn't save anyone. In fact, Misery is already down. And Team Secret, can they stop this Korean train? I don't think it's even really possible at the moment. Eternal Envy just losing too much life. They swap Puppy back in again with the stun. There's no shallow grave to try and buy any form of time. Eternal Envy dying underneath his own Team 3 tower. Like he's gonna toss Pure around, but it doesn't stop them. The Karev kicks in. The trees are surrounding Weeha. He cannot bow out this one. Pardai is just watching his own friend die right now. The Aegis might be reclaimed. It's game over, man. 24 oh, minutes. MVP. Not only do they 2 0 E home, they 2 0 Team Secret to take that number one seed out of Group A. What a two series for them today. Yeah, well, the Secret draft was better, and they had a better chance, and they played better. And they still lost a minute 24. This this team is looking really scary going into the into the main event now. I think, judging from what we've seen today, possibly contender for you got to take up four when you win one of the groups against these kind of teams that are in there for sure. Question is, what's the like what's the